Hello, 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 and welcome to See Lost Spot. We were running a little late on tonight, but God is still good. We're so happy that you all have joined us on tonight. We have a lot of miles to run, and so we're getting ready to talk about all kind of things that's going on in CELA. I'm just kind of swinging through and stopping by. I really don't know who's watching. I'm going to ask for it. Kayla, can you give me my cell phone so I can see who's watching? I hope you all are having a very, very blessed night in the Lord. And I hope you had a marvelous day in the Lord as well. Thank you, Kaylin. Kaylin, come and take a seat. Are we all good? I know that we're missing one of our staff members on tonight, Miss Renitra. We miss you on tonight, woman of God. We thank you so much for always setting up for us. And so I hope everybody is just doing great. I hope everybody is just tremendously blessed. I'm getting ready to try to come on so I can see who's watching. Amen. So let's see who's watching, Kaylin. Hey, Kaylin, you looking mighty nice tonight. I oh, like that. Nice. Thank you so you much. Are. Look at that. You got blue on Yo, like me and all of that stuff. Fresh. And you look, we didn't even plan this. We didn't, y'all, we didn't plan oh, this. Oh my shirt, God, man. on one accord. I was looking for a purple shirt. But I, the purple shirt, it didn't look Oh, like purple to represent to look, C Light. That color's kind of blue, though, doesn't it? It do look good. Yeah, it does. It, it does. does. It does. So I grabbed the blue shirt, you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you pull it up and you had on blue as well. So, you know, we don't want a car. Well, I tell you one thing. We have a lot of people watching. I am tuning in. Thank you all so much for supporting C Light Spot. You all are a tremendous blessing to CLA Productions Incorporated. Without you all, there would be no us, right, Kaylin? Absolutely. I'm Absolutely. telling you, God is so wonderful. We're both actually in the screen. I think I need to probably move over just a little bit. I don't know. If y'all can see me clearly, let me know. Also, let me know who's watching, where you're from, where you're watching from. I'm telling you, we had a tremendous Friday oh, on last week. Ooh, ooh. The butler did the it. Butler it's finally did. over. Yes, Amen. And I'm telling you, it was absolutely mind-blowing. It was absolutely tremendous. Yes, People did not know who, who was the killer. It was so funny when they thought it was one person right. and it was another person. The funniest thing is the cast didn't know. The cast did not know. I would not write it in my <laughs> script because I wanted it to be a surprise. Yeah. You know, and so I think that kind of went over really well. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. I mean, we got a lot of people. Hi, Raquel, Rocky Salters. Thank you so much for watching. Miss Yolanda, our former first assistant. Yes, Love you, woman of God. I miss you so much. Thank you, Miss Marilyn Lee, uh, such a huge supporter, Absolutely. sponsor of Steel Art Productions. Woman of God, thank you for your blessing. I'm telling you, always blessing our Steel Art Productions. Hey, Ashley Martin, Wensley, thank you so much for watching. She has become an awesome church member here at mm -hmm. Choice International, and she always shares everything for Steel Art Productions. Yeah, I see that, yeah. I'm telling you, so we, I think, yeah. hey, I think we got a present publicity person. I'm I don't you, know huh? we're going to see. I'm going to have to write that woman of God a check. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm telling you, you know, we thank everybody for spending time with us. Yeah. I mean, every time we come on, we have a tremendous amount of watchers. Absolutely. Like it says six, but it's way more than six people watching. Yes. You see and, and it right there. A lot of times, you know, people may not catch our live, but they'll come on after and they'll yes. comment as they're watching. So we definitely appreciate that. Yes, absolutely. And so we have a lot going on. But the big thing is the butler is now over. Yeah. The butler did it is over. Yes, the indeed. mystery has been solved. And so a lot of people was like, well, who was the killer? If you didn't come, we're not going to tell you because right. guess what? We got some more news coming with the butler, and that's going to be coming soon. And so we can't really reveal who the killer is if you didn't come and see. <laughs> but I can tell you this, that people were blown out of the water when they found out who the killer yes, was. Indeed. I'm telling you. Kate, talk about a little bit about what's going on with us. And I'm telling you all of the Man. wonderful things the Lord is doing. So, and, so much. Oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, see, like, let me tell you, I tell people this all the time. To all the visionaries, for all the people that have children, like biological kids, you know, like women that breastfeed, mm -hmm. you know, I'm telling you, your baby, your vision, will suck the life out of you. Mm -hmm. And it takes everything out of you. Yeah. It takes your time, it takes your energy, yeah. and it takes your money. Yeah. It will <laughs> suck the life out of you. But that's because you're nurturing the vision. Absolutely. And that's why it's so important for us to not be anxious about um, when it's going to happen, mm -hmm. when the vision is going to come to pass. Yeah. The baby has to be fully grown mm -hmm. in order for it to come to pass. So I hope somebody caught that little nugget 
preaching a little early, but you know, I just wanted to share that, you know, your vision, it takes time to mature. It takes time to grow. And so with that being said, hey, Miss Stacy, we, hey, we love you, Miss Stacy. We have not seen or talked to you. I hope you are well. I hope yeah. that your daughter is well. I hope everybody's just well. Also, Miss Adrienne Broden, thank you so much for watching. And Kat Gant, thank you so much for watching. That's my Lutcher crew right there. So I know, shout out Lutcher, yeah. LL, Lil London, right? But thank y'all so much for watching. And so that's the <laughs> truth. Your vision will suck the life out of you. Yeah. That's why you have to nurture it. You got to feed it. Yeah. But but even with that, even though your children will take all of your money, all of your energy, all of your time, when it's time for that child to go to work, mm -hmm. that child will pay you back. Absolutely. Am I right about, right about it? So when that vision start working, yeah. that vision start working, paying you back. Yeah. Your right. passion will pay you is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Your passion will pay you is what I'm trying to say, but we're not going to talk about that tonight. <laughs> so, Kayla, who we have going on? Oh, y'all, so we got so much going on. I'm so glad you guys are here with us. Of course, I want to give a shout-out to my director. Shout-out, man. Ryan, Mr. Praise Mr. God. Governor. Amen. Of course, we're streaming right here from Choice, the event place, so we want to give another shout-out to Prophet Antoine Jasmine. Thank you so much, Prophet. stream right here. Uh, the butler did it was right here. So to get into some of the news y'all of course We just talked about the butler did it has come to an end for now. Yes for now the butler did it has come to an end Absolutely. I'm Absolutely. halfway in the screen. I don't know what's going on. Is that my cell phone doing that? Is let's, that what that's let's go ahead and back it up because you know I got a what is that a note 8? <laughs> oh, she's stunned <laughs> We're going to go so, ahead and back it up. Y'all know I'm unconventional. Y'all know I want to make sure that all of you all can see us really clearly. We are missing Miss Renitra tonight, woman of God. She is absent, uh, taking care of some business. And so should we, uh, okay, I can see good now. Good. Yes, I think so. And so we miss Miss Renitra. Thank you, Miss Sandra Thompson. Thank you so much for your comment. She said, uh, she said, uh, you look beautiful. Who is uh, the young man with you? As you know, I'm a nurse. And she just kind of goes on. Thank you so much. We thank you for thank you. watching as much as possible, woman of God. Now that she has uh, said who she was, I remember she was posting and she posted a long paragraph about you. Thank you so much, woman of God, for uh, pouring into Kaelin's life and speaking life to his life. Because that's what we're supposed to do as Christians. Yeah. We're supposed to speak life to other people's lives. Yeah. And so thank you so much for speaking into Kaelin's life. He is a wonderful person. And I'm blessed to have Kaelin a part of CLI Productions as a coach, an actor, I mean, as administration. He has been a tremendous blessing to this vision. So thank you so much for being his cheerleader, Mrs. Yes, Sandra thank Thompson. You. Thank you. Also, Derek Wilson, thank you so much for watching. So, Kate, talk about a little bit about what we've Man, been doing. Man, so we got so much going on. Of course, we've been talking about something new. Somebody put on the screen right now. Uh oh Something new. Something new. Something new. Oh, my God. Ophelia. Ophelia. Who is Ophelia? Who is Ophelia? I oh believe my God. that is Miss Javon Butler. That is my middle name. Middle name. I'm telling you. So, something new is coming to you guys. Ophelia. A love story. A love story. A love story. You know, people that know me, they don't really know a lot about me. Not on that side. Right. I'm a very private person. Mm -hmm. And so I think Ophelia is going to touch a lot of women during mm -hmm. the holidays, yeah. Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. Christmas. So if you would like to cast for Ophelia, you need to call 225-623-9449. We have been having people sending a lot of information uh, through the email wanting to cast we have been scheduling a lot of auditions mm -hmm. and so with that being said if you think you would like to be a part of the cast of ophelia please by all means please 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 call 225-623-9449 i'm startled because this is a young man that came on um I, i'm sure he's sending me a message or something but i met him at when dixie in baton rouge mm -hmm. And I told him about See Lost Spot. I told him about my page and all of that. And he is on right now. Yeah, right now. Yes, it's a little fuzzy, Kaylin. Is that us or is that the system over there? Y'all, bear with us. We got only two of us tonight, but we gonna work it. We gonna talk about God tonight and we will work this program. Absolutely. Hey to all your friends, sis. How you doing, woman of God? She is going to be one of the people that's casting for Ophelia. Absolutely. And Miss Toy, you're going to be getting a call because your date has been changed, honey. And so we're going to call you to reschedule you. I did see that you were scheduled as a person. Her name rung a bell as soon as I saw it. And so with that being said, I'm 
I'm telling you, this is a tremendous, tremendous play. That's just my cell phone. Okay, that's my phone. Oh, my I got the money for it. It's clear over there. Okay, I'm awesome. Be the okay, great, great, great. If the if the screen is blurred, let me know, and we'll fix it. If the screen is blurred, let me know, and we'll fix it. My screen is blurred, but Kaylin said it's not. So if it's not, just let me know. Toy and somebody, Come just on. let me know. Help, us. <laughs> help, us, Lord. <laughs> so that's the thing. So Ophelia is going to be a wonderful, wonderful love story. Yeah. A lot of times for the holidays, you know, we seem to feel some type of way about different things. Sometimes we can experience being lonely or having that in a family. Um, some people that has passed away that you wish was there celebrating Christmas with you. Whatever it may be, it's going to be a drama. If you look at her face, it tells you a lot about the play. Wow. If you look at her face on the casting call flyer, it tells you a lot about the play. Yeah. And so absolutely, oh, Miss Toya said it's blurred. It's blurred. Thank you, Talia. We're going to fix it. Thank you so much, Giovanni, for joining us. Miss Giovanni Gaudia Bell, i on in a long time. And so I thank you for coming on tonight. Randy Nelson, thank you so much for watching. We thank you guys for support. There it is. It's look, it looks good. Thank you so much for watching See Last Spot. Uh-oh, there goes our theater mom. Thank you, Miss Catherine, for watching. It went back blurry again, and that, there it is. I think we're good. She hey, said, mommy. hey, family. Kay said, hey, mommy. <laughs> Go ahead and speak to her, Kay. How you doing, mom? I'm wearing a blue shirt that you like. Oh, Javon look. liked it as well. Yeah, I know, Miss Catherine. He got blue on with me. We all on one accord. But with that being said, absolutely. Ophelia is going to be an absolute phenomenal. Yeah. The butler did it was good. You got to get ready for Ophelia. Mm -hmm. Ophelia is going to start the first week or second week in November. Mm -hmm. It's going to be right here, Choice the Event Place, 516 East Airline Highway. Look for the flyers on my Facebook page. Yeah. Ophelia is a love story. <laughs> and for all those people that love those drama love stories, this is absolutely the play for you to come and watch. And so I'm excited about it. And uh, Kaylin is actually going to be one of the actors that's in the play. Uh, his role, uh, being the monster and the butler, <laughs> was a lead role. But Kalen is getting ready to get busy with some other things that we're doing, so he's going to take a notch back, but you will still take see his acting back. skills <laughs> in Ophelia. But Kay has to rest. Kay, I will tell you this. I have never seen you sweat like I saw you sweat. Oh, Friday. my goodness. But you know, Man. I was glad to experience that. Hey, Miss Renitra. Hey, Miss Renitra. We miss you. We, we miss, miss you, you so much. You have us so spoiled. <laughs> We are now trying to do all kinds of stuff. I hope you like the set. set yeah. ah, we just got the we little tried. chairs. You know, we tried. We tried. So with that being said, I will say that, uh, what was I talking about? I was talking Kevin? about me running backstage, sweating. and I'm glad you experienced yeah. that. That's really what a lead role is. Yeah. Constantly. I was so happy you experienced it. Yeah. You were tired. I think you slept well that night. Am I uh, right about I it? Did. <laughs> I did. But I couldn't sleep late. I had a show the next day. Okay. Oh, that's I was right. Trying to get my voice back. So, mm -hmm. but you was back that. Come on, Kay. I Come know, on. I'm Kay. your cheerleader. You got it. Kay. You got. It. <laughs> well, you know I'm your cheerleader. Kay. Of course. Of yes, course. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm telling you. So I mean, Kaylin had a feel, you know, of how it is to be a lead role in one of my plays, yeah. but at a closer capacity. He's always been in the productions, but he would always have time to rest. Well, in this play, because I picked certain scenes to show the journey of the butler, Kaylin was constantly out there, and you did a phenomenal job. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. I've been yeah. proud of Kay since I met him. He does a phenomenal job. Hey, Miss Marie Washington, you left before you found out who did it. Oh, man. You left, woman of God, so guess what? I cannot tell you tonight. You still <laughs> don't know who killed the butler. I saw when you left. But anyways, uh, you'll find out maybe another time. I'm not sure. But Martensian, thank you so much, Miss Herman, for watching. So, Kaylin, besides the butler, did it besides being ended? Ophelia. Ophelia, all of that. Man. We do have another training coming up. We uh, we'll training. give that information on next week. Okay. Um, I'm not sure of the uh, date yet, mm -hmm. but we do have that going and on we as also well. also have C La Soiree. Oh, oh let's up. talk about that soiree. soiree. Oh, man. What? So, y'all. Man, if you've been watching, if you've been following C Live Productions, y'all know we had a swallow Give us some earlier. hearts, y'all. Y'all sleeping on, the screen. on us tonight. Yeah, Won't y'all give man, us some hearts? We heart. need some hearts on the screen. But listen, C Live Soiree is coming up for the second time. It's going to be October 28th. Thank it's you, Miss Renitra. Right here at Choice D Event Place. That's 516 East Airline Highway. Uh, 
come out. Come out yes. and support our local and even not so local business Thank owners. you, Ms. Marilyn. Come out and, you know, um, promote your business. Promote your business and, you know, show the world, the community what God has given Thank you. Thank you, Keanu. What God B. has given you to grow. Thank you, Toya. Everybody I'm just saying, oh, they're showing love they're showing tonight. Love. I'm Absolutely. telling you. So we what love CR Soiree is an opportunity for us to continue to run towards our vision. So if you have a business, a local business, or, you know, in the surrounding parishes, come out and promote yourself. Give promote yourself something. an opportunity to grow. To run towards the vision. Booths are only $45. Mm -hmm. Come out. Now stop right there. Let's put a let's put a kick whole stand. kickstand right there. Let's mm -hmm. put a divider mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. $45 can't be there. for all the people that's gonna be here. Can't be there. Last time the tables were what, $150? It was like $150 or $125. I'm something. telling you. $45. Yeah. Come and talk about who you are. Yeah. If you have a business. The soiree is something that God endowed for me to have yeah. so that people can talk about who they are. So if you're a business owner, I know we've done vendor events before, but this event, I'm telling you, is full up with the Holy Ghost. It is. When you leave out of here, you're going to be inspired. We have guest speakers that's going to be here. And then you'll be able to sell your product to the public. We have public people that's going to come in, come to the tables, buy your product yep. and then not only that when you come we are going to allow you to speak three to five three to, well, i think it's two to three, yeah, two to three minutes about who you are what you do yeah. what's your vision why are you selling what you're selling mm -hmm. talking about yourself yeah. i like to target people that nobody really knows that you're cooking in your kitchen mm -hmm. nobody knows that you're baking those brownies and you're doing those uh, pecan candies. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking for, for visionaries that people do not know about. Yeah. God says that write the vision down. If your vision is already written, then I need you to run with it. Come yeah. talk about it. It's going to be on October the 28th, which is a Sunday evening. Sunday, yeah. A very elegant affair. Yes, indeed. From 4 to 6. From 4 to about 4.30, we're going to network exchange cards the speakers are going to come forth and when you leave out of here you're going to be an inspired visionary i will be here myself as well i want you to come out to the soiree i want you to sell your product but not only that i want you to sell the brand of you yeah, and also the brand network. of you yeah you know what i'm saying yes, indeed. and so with that being said i think that everybody should take advantage if you want to register for the soiree I know Ashley is one of those persons, Gina Wells, and also another lady at the church. Go to CLARProductionsInCorp.org. Why don't you pin that for me, Kayla? I got you. I got you. Productions in Corp.org. Go right there on the tab of shop. Click the shop tab and go to CLA Soiree. Pay your $45 and be in the place. Yes, indeed. Sometimes it's about the it's about the people that you're around. When I have a soiree, when Sila has a soiree, people are coming to this soiree. Mm -hmm. People that need to meet you. I'm trying to do a function where you can help to sell your business and a sell who you are. Yeah. We already have tables sold. Mm -hmm. So guess what? I have limited space. Yeah. If you have not gotten your table yet, I cannot say that, oh, I can try to fit you in. I have a certain amount of space because of the fire marshal. Yeah. Once my tables are gone, they are gone. And you would have to wait a whole nother, what, I think six months six for months. another soiree. So if you purpose in your heart and you feel like God is touching you, get your $45. Go on the website, sealoutproductionsincorp.org. Kaylin has pinned it already yeah. in the comments section. Go and get your table. We pay $45 for clothing and all of that. Yeah. Why don't you sew $45 into Sila for your vision? Yeah. We are fertile ground. Yes, we get praise reports all day. All day. We want you to come out. Talk about who you are. Who knows? The speakers that's here. Who do you know? I mean, they can connect you yes, to the person that can change your life. Yeah. Like Bishop Jasmine likes to say, you only need one key to turn. Just one key, that one pharaoh, that one pharaoh that can change your life, that one Mordecai yeah. that can open the door for you. So make sure that you do everything in your power. Power. If you are a business owner, you need to be at Sila Soiree. Yes, Absolutely. Absolutely. October the 28th, 4 to 6. Come and sell yourself. Why are you still 
working that nine to five. When God is calling you out of a place into his marvelous life, yeah. God wants you to be your own business owner. God has created us to be kings and queens, and we're supposed to be reigning over our own visions. Mm -hmm. And so I went to Africa. Of course, you know, I've been here for about two weeks now. And I mean, we, I mean, they have kings and queens in Africa. They rule over tribes. You are not supposed to be slaving at nine to five. Now, sometimes God will put you in a place for a season. But if you've been slaving in a place for 10 years, five years might even be too long. Two years may even be too long. If it's in your heart to run with your vision, to run with your hair, with your hairstyling business, your makeup artist business, yeah. you know, selling Primerica, selling insurance, uh, for, what is it, uh, Miss Marilyn, Foray. Oh, Forex. Forex, you know. Everybody should have a table. Miss Marilyn was a speaker last speaker time. Last time, absolutely. And she did an absolute phenomenal oh, job. She, was awesome. she, was she awesome. really was. Yeah. And so the bottom line is if you are a visionary, then see la soiree is for you. Mm -hmm. I do that for the public. I invite the public in here. I have a team going out to the Andui Festival this weekend. Mm -hmm. They're gonna hand out all kind of flyers so that people can come in so that they can hear your vision and what you're doing. $45? What's $45? I mean, you can't beat it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a seed that you're sowing. Right. Of course, it's a blessing to see life for you to sow, but it's a blessing more for you because God is going to ignite your fire while you're here. Yeah. If your fire is burning low, he's going to refresh that fire, a refiner's fire, bring you through so that you can get to. Oh, I like that. Yeah, bring you through. God will bring you through the refiner's fire so that you can get to where he's trying to go. Mm -hmm. That refiner's fire is not always good. Right. But God will bring you through something yeah. so that you so he can get you to something. Mm -hmm. I want some hearts right there. Now I'm going into my preaching. God will bring you through something to bring you to something. Yeah. God is trying to bring you through the soiree, the soiree to bring you to a higher place mm -hmm. in your level. vision. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah, the next level. You, the next dimension. Mm -hmm. The next level. The next dimension. $45 can change your life mm -hmm. on October the 28th. If the right person is here for you, it is your time and it's your turn. You need to go to C Live Productions I, in Corp. Dot o -R -G. <laughs> because you know, let me tell you, it, all you need to do is be in the right place at the right time with the right people. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to put that on the thread. Mm -hmm. To be in the right place at the right time with the right people. Yeah. Hey, BJ Nelson, thank you so much, man of God, for watching. Holiday Bell, thank you for watching. Desiree Ism, thank you for watching. Courtney Moody, what is your vision? What has God called you to? Why are you waiting? What you waiting for? You waiting on God, he waiting on you. You need to be at soirees. You need to, you need to be at networking opportunities to sell yourself. Yep. BJ is a singer, he's a psalmist. People need to hear him sing. Yep. They're waiting on your CD, man. And God, every time I, 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 I see you, I, 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 I think about the songs that you used to sing. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yep. You're helping Kayla in his vision. Kaelin is doing well. We're getting ready to talk about Kaelin's new project. We're getting, I mean, I mean, what is it? Higher? Peaks and Valleys. Peaks and Valleys. Oh, my God. That'll preach a whole sermon and say a whole conference up. Yeah. <laughs> because we, we, we experience mountain highs. Yep. And we experience Down valley low. lows. Yep. But it's in a valley low that you got to get up and go. Yep. Yep. Come on. Yep. It's in a valley low that you got to pick yourself up and go. You have to remember to continue to run toward the vision. You got to run toward the vision with all of your might. Will they have people trying to stop you? Absolutely. People have been trying to stop me all day. But I am unstoppable. Yes, I love when, my, when Pastor Monica Lewis says that. Mm -hmm. I am unstoppable. You are unstoppable. Yeah. The only person can stop you is yourself. Must you continue to lay down in your self-pity? Or will in that valley low, you pick yourself up and go. Yep. Am I right about right it? About it. Yeah. In the valley low, we must pick ourselves up and go. go. Yep. We got to run toward the vision. Mm -hmm. We got to write that thing down. He who reads it will run with it. Write the vision down. Write it down. Write it down. He who reads it, read your own vision. You got to run with it. Yeah. Running with it. Running to networking opportunities. Being around people that's doing what you're doing. Learning. 
setting at people's feet, mm -hmm. honoring people because they know more than you, sucking the intelligence out of people mm -hmm. so that you may duplicate but in your own unique way. Yeah. Be a sponge. Be a sponge. Yeah. I love that. Kim is a sponge off of me. Yeah. He's learning a word through sitting with me. Just kill him being in my presence blesses him in a spiritual way. Yeah. Not a natural way, but a spiritual way. So it's a it's a privilege for Kaelin to even be on C-Lot spot. Yeah. It's a privilege for me to even know Kaelin. Kaelin getting ready to do a very huge project. Everybody's going to know about it. <laughs> and the bottom line is, we just are trying to encourage you to not miss your moment. Yeah. Your Kairos moment could be right here at 516 East Airline Highway on October the 28th. I'm inviting the kings and the queens in and the pharaohs and the Mordecais. I'm bringing them in for you. Will you come and meet the king? Mm -hmm. Will you come and meet the king, the queen, the pharaoh, the Mordecai that needs to help your vision? See yeah. last one ready. Sunday, October the 28th, beginning at 4 p.m. 4 to 6, we'll have food to eat, all of that good stuff. Hey, Jerome Ambrose, thank you so much for watching. Tell your wife I said hello. Hey, Tanya Johnson, thank you so much for watching. Marilyn Lee, if you read her post, she was here last year. Yep. I promise you, it turned into a church service. She, it really did. She blessed everybody. And she blessed everybody. Yes, she she, she, started, she started preaching. Yeah, yeah. You know, we want to ignite the fire in you. Those that have a low fire, we're trying to refresh that fire. Yeah. Bring it through that refiner's fire to get you to the vision. Mm -hmm. Write it down. What is your vision? Read it. Run with it. Stop working the nine to fives. I feel it so strongly as I sit here. Yeah. Don't work the nine to five. I did that for most of my life. And now Selah is my life. Yeah. When God gives you a God vision, you will work it for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And your passion will pay you. Your passion will pay you. I promise you. And not only monetarily, your passion will pay you from the satisfaction that other people are being blessed because of your vision. Yeah. It's not always about money. God says, let every day take care of itself. Yeah. God took care of the sparrow, so surely he's a Jehovah Jireh for you. You have to trust God when you can't trace him. You have to believe what you cannot see. A nine to five have you comfortable. You know your check coming in. Well, God has employed you to do your vision. I'm sure the Lord will do a much better job than the employer that you have now. But you got to trust him. You got to trust him or you can't trace him. I promise you, it's not a cliche, it's true. Now, Kevin's getting ready to talk about his vision and what's going on with him and how God is operating in his life. It's such a beautiful thing to see Kevin rise, a rising king. He's not a shooting star, like Bishop said the other night. A shooting star shoots in the sky, but it falls and it dies. But a rising star is always in the presence of the people. You can look up and see a rising star. And a rising star stays for a little while. And that's what Kaelin is doing right now. Kaelin, talk about what God is doing in your life. Share with the people. Man. Share the project. Share how they can get the work or when it's coming out. I want you to talk about your journey. My journey. Okay, yeah. so... Um... We talked a little bit about it on last week as, as my mom uh, slash my manager, my momager was on the show. <laughs> I like that uh, momager. momager. Wow, yeah. I love it. <laughs> uh, you know, Ms. Javon asked a few questions to my mom about my upbringing and, uh, you know, growing with my gift. I started writing, you know, uh, writing my songs at about five years old, and I always knew what God had placed into me to do. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've always been uh, very in tune with myself. Okay. Uh, so a lot of people try to sway me in different directions mm -hmm. and want me to make, you know, Hip -hop. traditional rap, mm -hmm. I guess you would say. But, um, you and know, half of that rap don't make sense nah, anyway. Nah. My mama went down the street, wop, 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 <laughs> oh, and my sister came too. And it, it's, yeah. a, it's really about the beat. Right, absolutely. It's really about the beat, absolutely. but, you know, people get caught up So, um, you know, I, that's a credit to, you know, my upbringing. And then as I continue to grow in the word and continue to grow spiritually, mm -hmm. that's when I began to... Uh, take the messages that were given to me and you know be able to formulate that into my gift and spread it to the world mm -hmm. so um, Now that I'm older I'm able to you know take everything that's going on around me take 
real life experiences mm -hmm. and you know put it in my writings and put it in my songs and spread it to the world mm -hmm. so uh finally y'all my fans have been waiting on it for a long time uh -oh. my first solo project in five years the first years. solo project in five years in five the number years. of grace what's the name of it peaks and valleys peaks and valleys yes jesus and a preach yeah. right there. Yeah. Why did you name your new project, the single, Peaks and Valleys? So, um, I had another project that I was planning on releasing this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was actually finished. But early September, I started on Peaks and Valleys. Mm -hmm. And once I started, I couldn't stop. And I was like, you know what? This is what needs to go out this year. Mm -hmm. um, because we, we, we always talked about since... We started this year, we talked about 2018, we've been talking about New Beginnings. Mm -hmm. The number eight, uh, it's eight songs. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, and as much as I tried to put more, I couldn't. Okay. I couldn't, I would always cut it back down to eight. Okay, that's, uh, number. that's it. But Peaks and Valleys, this has been one of my most challenging years thus far, uh, personally, mm -hmm. uh, professionally as well. Uh, just a, a lot, a lot, but I've learned a lot as well. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to take those experiences and share it with the world. Uh, you know, the highs and lows of being a visionary, mm -hmm. uh, the highs and lows of learning to be obedient. Jeez. Um, just, just everyday life. So it's going to relate to people who are out there chasing the dream and people who just going through the highs and lows of everyday life. They'll be able to relate to it because it tells a story mm -hmm. of a young boy who lives in the valley. Mm -hmm. He lives in the valley and he hates the valley. He hates being in the valley. He hates uh, the people that lives in the valley with him. All he can think about is getting to that peak. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, he talks about how he's been laying low all, the, all these years. And I can't stay in the valley because the valley is so trashy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was a quick little rhyme. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Oh, watch out, watch out. <laughs> um, and he, he goes higher. Mm -hmm. he, he goes higher. He, he heads to the peak. And his conscience is telling him, man, you, you can never reach the peak. Take a seat. Mm -hmm. Not equipped for this heat. Oh, How you going to lead your people back in the valley this week? Uh -oh. How you going to leave your people? You was one of them last week. That wouldn't fly on my streets, fool. Not cool because you know they got you. Always had your back from an infant up to high school to now. And now you leaving them to do something better? Wow. Always crying to reach the peak, man. You act like a child. That's the boy's conscience talking to him saying, you're not Stop, worthy man. of the man. Y'all heard it first on c Lot Spot. <laughs> Rewind it. I love the flow. Yeah. I'm telling you, go K. Y'all heard it first on C Last Spot. Last spot yes. yes. So, you know, that's the boy's conscience talking to him, telling him, you can never reach the peak. You're nothing but a valley boy. Mm -hmm. You're nothing but a valley boy. Your mom said, speak son. Yes. 100. <laughs> so, <laughs> when the boy gets to the peak, he meets a man. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that song because that song is special and it takes a turn in the project. Mm -hmm. But it's called The Man Up There. Speak and he up. speaks to the man. And he talks about how bad he wants to reach this peak. Jesus. And the man tells him, why you left your valley so soon? That isn't proper. Never waited to, for your flowers to bloom. A caterpillar jumping out the cocoon prematurely. You unappreciative and ungrateful, surely. Mm. I talk to many just like you, and they ignore me. I'm only giving you wisdom from ones who came before. And when he talks to the man, oh, love it. he realizes that the man is only telling him, you have to go through the valleys mm -hmm. because like you talked about, God will bring you through to get you to. Mm -hmm. And when you do reach those peaks, of course, it's going to be more elaborate when you listen to the project. Mm -hmm. But when you do get to those peaks, you will look down at the valleys and realize how beautiful those valleys were because that's what creates character. That's what, that's what makes you who you are. That's right. And once you get to the peaks, you won't look down and, and hate the valleys because you realize those people are just like you. Mm -hmm. They just have to get through their valleys. Everything is timed differently. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some people may reach their peaks faster than others, but yes. that's because God was ready to, we, we all, God is ready for us to be ready. Oh, watch out. You know what I mean? He is ready for us, for to, be us ready. to be ready. Absolutely. So you were ready to embrace the new. Yeah. And so that's where this project came from. Absolutely. And how long have you been working on this project? So, oddly enough, usually, so, okay, when I get locked in, mm -hmm. it really doesn't take long at all. Like you always your it's script. Gifted. Yeah. yeah. Gifted. Once I get locked in, it really, it really doesn't it take long. It takes me about two days to write a whole production. Yeah, wow. Because it's a gift. It's a gift, it's absolutely. A gift. So, uh, I started this project. And keep in mind, during this time, y'all, we was doing the Butler did it. Oh my God. And we had just started teaching. Uh, he was tired. With Javon Ophelia's yes. act, and I work as well. Lord, um, 
And I had just finished writing a whole nother album, mm -hmm. but that album wasn't the one that's supposed to come out right now. Mm -hmm. So I finished that particular album, I'm not gonna release the name because that one's still gonna come. Mm -hmm. I had just finished writing that particular album in August. Mm -hmm. And I started on Peaks and Valleys September 2nd. I was finished by, Octo by October 1st. Mm -hmm. I finished the day I got back from Phoenix for uh, the Church Star Awards. Mm -hmm. I finished Peaks and Valleys. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just was you know, making sure everything was straight. Uh, making sure it sounded like I needed it to sound, and then I was ready to make my announcement, which I made my announcement on yesterday. I know, and that's why we're talking about yeah, it. Absolutely. What did you announce? I want everybody on c -Lock Spot to support Kaylin's new project. You can go to Kaylin's page on Facebook, yeah. Kaylin Levy, that's K-A-E-L-A-N, Levy. I always tag him on a lot of yeah. my stuff on my Facebook page, and he's going to tell you where you can find the project. I want everyone listening on tonight to sow into Kalen's product, or oh, I feel the anointing. Sow into his project. I promise you it's going to bless you. Listen to the words and the messages. Kalen is a born visionary. You having a moment? Kalen kind of reminds me of Joel Osteen. <laughs> I could be having a bad day, but when I see Joel on TV with that smile God bless and encourage you, encouraging, <laughs> God bless you, I'm telling you. And that's how your music is. Particularly my favorite one is the one that you did at church stores. Church stores. That was the last one. What's the name of that? It's one? called I Speak. I Speak. That's one of my favorite ones. But the new project, I know that it has God's anointing on it. I want you to support the man of God. I want you to support him. He is absolutely on his way. And so, Kaylin, tell them a little bit of how they can get the pro your, 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 your single. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk about you was you were nominated with, with C-Law for church stores, right. but now you've been nominated with someone else, so we're going to get to that. But tell them how they can find your project. All right, so, y'all, on October 24th, my project will release worldwide. Uh, you can get it on any of your digital streaming services that's iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Google Play, Amazon Music, wherever you stream music, or I will have physical copies on deck because I am still one of those artists who believes in physical copies. So you can get at me, uh, you know, contact me on Facebook. You can go to my website, www.klevymusic.com to order your physical copy. I can ship it to you if, you would, if you're out of town. Uh, you would like to get a physical copy if you want me to sign it or whatever. Or if you're local, I can meet you with a physical copy. We could take a picture, free hugs, free daps, you know, all of that. But October 24th, my October, project ooh, will be... October 24th, that's a prophetic number? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah for yeah. it. The 24, 2 and 4, mm -hmm. double, increase. Yeah. 2, double, double, 4, the number of increase. Mm -hmm. 2, 4, double increase. Yeah. Double increase. Yeah. I want you to put that in your prayer. God, I call double increase double to increase. me. I bind anything trying to stop it or anybody. Mm -hmm. That is a prophetic number, 2, 4. Mm -hmm. 2, 4, 10, the number of legacy, yeah. the number of completion. Mm -hmm. The number of completion, double increase. That is an anointed number. That is an anointed date. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. I want you guys to come and support Kalen. Hey, Javon. Hamilton, I miss you. I miss your videos. I give credits to Javon who yeah. did the Want to Do It do video. It. I'm telling you, Javon, I need another video. I know yeah. you're in Texas, but I mean, if you're available, call me. <laughs> I love his work because I do not have to tell him anything. Yeah. He comes with it like boom. Yeah, he's awesome. Yes, awesome. if I could try and steal him from Texas at some point, I will. I don't know if he'll come, but we'll try. Yes, indeed. Money Jordan, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Dem Dem Michael. Van Court. Okay, Thank you for guy. watching. Okay, guy. awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, I miss Javon. Javon yeah. was such a blessing uh, to the Won't He Do It Project. Well, and it is coming soon. It is awesome. We got some changes. Hey, Miss Sabrina, you in the office, but thank <laughs> you for watching. We're right here at Choice and Event. Choice the event I mean, place. Event Place. We thank Bishop Prophet, Antoine, Always. Michael, Jasmine Always. for the tremendous support. Yeah. He supports C Law. He had the church family to come out last Friday. Support it us, warms yeah. my heart the way Bishop supports C-Law. Yeah, he does. He supports, you know, all of the church functions. Mm -hmm. He's just really a man of God that has God's heart yeah. for the people. He does. And he's genuine. Yes. He's really genuine. He's not selfish. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't mind sharing his platform. Mm -hmm. Very down to earth as well. Very down very to earth. Down earth. I'm telling Come you. Come joke with you. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm telling you, he understands. He understands 
that it's not about getting your name called and, and it's not about people seeing you. Mm -hmm. For people that may not know him, they may think differently. I don't know. But I know that I witnessed the goodness of the Lord yeah. in the land of the living concerning Bishop. And when I see a good person, the Bible says you give honor where honor is due. Yeah. And I'm telling you, he does not mind uh, sharing the platform. And he understands, like I was saying earlier, that it's about the souls. Mm -hmm. It's about the kingdom. Yeah. And so we all come together. And put all of the gifts that God has given us together. Do you know how much, how oh, many man. souls we can Say win? Yes, and we can tear the enemy, enemy kingdom down yeah. together in unity. Yeah. And this is why he shares the platform. Mm -hmm. Because he understands that. And I hope that other people are listening tonight. If you are a pastor, you know, or you a teacher, a preacher, whatever. If we all come together in our churches, come together in unity. Yeah. We can tear the enemy kingdom down. Yeah, yeah. Anytime you come together, that's what democracy is. Anytime we come together as a people, we can tear down anything. Sure can. Look at the Tower of Babel. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, I got to confuse their language. Because mm -hmm. they all building, they all on one accord. Yeah. If they keep building, they're going to come up here to me. Mm -hmm. So the Lord confused them, and that's where the tongues came from. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line is, I, ju I just think the different languages came from. So that's what, you know, that's, that's, that's to me, speaks a lot for a person. Yeah. And I want you, as a visionary, I share my platform with you. I want you to share Kay Levy with somebody. Yeah. Because there, there can be a little mm -hmm. Kay Levy somewhere. Yeah. Every time you are active in vision, God always have a successor right. somewhere around. Yeah. And that person, Jesus, I feel that. I felt that just now in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Stop shoving the person away that's following you in your vision. Yeah. Stop getting upset that they're copying off of you. I aspire to inspire. I see copycats all day. Yeah. And I smile. I say, I'm glad they're trying. We are supposed to be people of love and in unity. A true visionary. Legacy will leave after they're gone. Mm -hmm. A true visionary, legacy will live after they're gone. How can it live if you don't teach someone else what right. you know? Right. Well, I'm going to teach them a little bit. I'm not going to teach them everything. Don't worry about all of that. Right. Just be yourself. Yeah. Teach them what God places in your heart to teach them. Do we have to watch out for Judas's and people like, of course we do. Ask God for spiritual discernment. Mm -hmm. Stay connected. And stay connected. Okay, finish talking about your project because you know I can start well, talking. Well, and speaking of connected, uh, you know, I guess the theme of Peaks and Valleys is all things are working together for good. Oh, I like that. Because Say that again, Kate. The theme, the overall theme of Peaks and Valley is all things are working together for our good. All things. Yeah, all things. All the means, peaks and the valleys. All means all. Yeah. The peaks and, and the, the valleys. valleys. Absolutely. It was good that I was afflicted. Mm -hmm. That I would have what? Learned. The goodness of the Lord. Am I right about it? Right about it. Jesus. Yeah. Nobody wants to suffer. Mm, yeah. Everybody wants to stay on that peak. Right. No, no, no. You got to go in the valley sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you going in the valley is not even about you. It's about who you're going to meet in the valley. That's true. It's about that person being in that valley for 30 years. And you come through that valley. And you help to pull your sister or brother out. Mm -hmm. Out of darkness into a marvelous light. That they can reach the peak. That they're trying to reach. Yeah. That'll preach. That'll preach, I'm telling you. Watch out. <laughs> so keep telling them, keep, keep telling them. Well, of, of course, you know, uh, once again, guys, if you if you would like to support, uh, the album will be coming out on October 24th. Uh, that's next Wednesday, so uh, you can get it. Um, all your digital streaming services, which, you know, Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, Google Music, uh, Google Play, uh, Amazon Music. Uh, it will also be available on SoundCloud at some point. And I will have physical copies as well if you want me to sign it and send it to you or come meet you, whatever. Uh, like Ms. Javon talked about earlier, a lot of times your vision will suck the life out of you. Ooh, you know what I mean? And, Can't breathe. Yeah. And, and this, you know, this was the perfect time for this to, uh, for me to write this album because this it has been a challenging year for me you know what i mean as a visionary mm -hmm. uh just going through going through the ups and downs um you know of course we talk about um working in someone else's vision as well mm -hmm. and a lot of times i will be in rehearsal you know listening to my beats while i'm on my off but the thing is and one thing i want to say 
I always still gave 100% to Cee and to Ms. Javon. Absolutely. I can't remember a time when Kaylin did not give Cee 100%. Yeah. You are a true, true visionary working at 100% in someone else's work. Yeah. And because of that, you are going to be tremendously blessed because when you perform service to the kingdom, yeah. that gets the Lord's attention. Yeah. It really do. Prophet Jasmine loves to say it all the time. It gets God's attention. And it does. Yeah. Your service will speak for you. Even when you can't speak. Mm -hmm. When your enemies come up to try and sabotage you. Yeah. Your service will speak for you. No matter what you've done. The Lord said because he served in Selah. I will give him mercy in the past. And I will annihilate all of his enemies. Yeah. Because of his service unto me. When you work, you work unto the Lord. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yep. So go ahead, Kate. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that's about it. Uh, for, for for more details, I guess you would have to just listen to the album. There's only so much I can give you. But I will say this. Uh, understand that when you are listening to it, um, in the last song, I say, understand that this is bigger than me, bigger than you. Understand that this was written by me to give to you. Understand that this was given to me like you know who, and understand that when you get to the peak, enjoy the view. Oh, I like the last part. <laughs> when you get to the peak, enjoy the view, Sabrina. Yeah. Woman of God, when you get to the peak, enjoy the view. Yeah. Because a lot of times, we don't work so hard to get to the blessing. Mm -hmm. When we get to the blessing, we forget to enjoy the view. To enjoy it. We so so busy out of breath. Wow. Catch your breath yeah. and enjoy the view. God says He wants to give us an abundant life in Him. Mm -hmm. So we have to know how to enjoy the view on the peak. Yeah. Let's talk about that sentence. Why did you end that particular stanza that way? So as we go through the journey, we come to multiple different realizations from. Mm -hmm. The first song is the title track. The mm -hmm. first song is entitled Peaks and Valley. Mm -hmm. It goes into laying low. I guess I'll release the track list. Laying low. Then it goes into higher. Mm -hmm. Then it goes into Kalen's conscience. Mm -hmm. It goes into the man up there, mm -hmm. connected, favor of God, and understand. Okay. So it's a journey. And when I say understand that this is bigger than me, bigger than you, it talks about when we're going through our peaks and valleys, we talk about our sea life spot all the time. God is ready for us to be. We need to be delivered. Ooh, Jesus, absolutely. So that we can deliver someone else. Hey, you know? you're gonna make me. You're gonna make me run in that circle. So say it again. We so need to be what? Delivered, so that we can deliver someone else. So we can help our family be delivered. Someone is waiting on us. Jesus. To help them. So in this album, we need to be delivered to be delivered. Yeah. We have to be delivered. Yeah. To be delivered yeah. to people. Mm -hmm. God is trying to deliver us to other people so that they can be delivered yeah. to be delivered. Mm -hmm. It is a domino effect. It is. How can you deliver someone else and you not deliver preacher, mm -hmm. pastor, teacher, evangelist, prophet? Come on. Yeah. The Lord said, be ye holy for I am holy. Yeah. So if we're not delivered, then we can't fully deliver anybody. So we have to live in the truth our own selves. Mm -hmm. We have to be delivered so that God can deliver us to a people. Yeah. We have to be delivered to be delivered to the people that God has assigned to our lives. And then they just be delivered because of you to deliver to other people. It is a domino effect of healing for the mind, the body, and the soul. Yeah. Go ahead, kid, because I'm going to start preaching. So, so when I say that, uh, in the album, we realize that our peaks and valleys are not only for our own purpose, but for the people around us, to help the people around us, to teach the people around us. When I say it was given to me by you know who, I'm, I'm just giving the credit to God. Come on. You know what I'm saying? And letting you guys know that this message was given to me to give to you. Mm -hmm. And when we get to the peak, enjoy the view. And not only enjoy the view, but don't just look down at the valleys and, and, and laugh at the people who are still in the valleys. Mm -hmm. We want to help each other. You got to pull it up. Yeah. We got to come out that crab man mentality. Yeah. I saw a picture on Facebook. I'm going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. The picture showed they had two whites and they had two blacks. Mm -hmm. I saw that one. Uh -huh. 
The white people, the two whites, the white man was holding up the other white man, helping him get through the window. Yeah. The black man was holding up the black man, pulling him down. Yeah. I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. But that's our fault. Yeah. Because true. some of us, not all of us, but some of us, that's what we do. We've done it to ourselves. Yeah. We have to come together yeah. so that we can be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. For the kingdom purposes. So that these lost souls can be won. Yeah. Your music is wonderful. But it's all at the end of the day. Anything that you do, Kate, I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. Anything that you do is always to win a soul. Yeah. The entertainment, the music, the number eight, the 10, the 24, the lyrics, the lyrics, the lyrics is to win a soul. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. God gave you that gift to glorify him, to win a soul. Yeah. So win that soul out that valley, mm -hmm. bring them on up yep. so that they can go. Yep. Am I right about, right about it? It's all about souls. Everything that we do, every conference that we do, anything that we do is always to win a soul. Mm -hmm. Every song that you sing, every sermon that you preach, yeah. it should win somebody's yeah. soul. Yeah. Jesus, I feel that in the Holy Ghost. And that's why we have to give 100% at all times when we're doing God's work. Working unto the Lord. Yeah. The spirit of excellence. Yeah. God says, did I not die on the cross for you? Yeah. Jesus died so he can save a wretch like me. Mm -hmm. The least that we can do, the least reasonable service that we can do is save a soul. Yeah. Oh, God, cleanse me of his soul. Yeah. Talking about people and making my own point of views. God, clean me up, create in me a clean heart yeah. and renew the right spirit within me. Jesus, I feel it so strongly. Everything that we do is about a soul. It's about nothing else. Absolutely. Everything that you do, every breath that you breathe, you should think about how can I win this person to the kingdom, yep. that person to the kingdom. Our body is not our own. Mm -hmm. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about Kay. Yep. We have to get our higher consciousness of thinking in check. Everything that we do is to win a soul at the end of the day. Yeah. The buildings that we build, everything that we do, the jobs that we have, everything that we do, God has created it, created it for you to win a soul. Indeed. It's all about him. Yeah. Not my will, but let thy will be done. Jesus, yeah. have you won a soul this week? Have you added to your crown? Now, see, this is getting ready to go back. Have you added to your crown on tonight? Have you talked to someone about Jesus? When God wakes you up in the morning, I feel him so strong. When he wakes you up in the morning, it's to win a soul. That's what he's created you to do. Yeah. You are his hands and his feet. Greater works will you do. Winning souls is God's number one priority in the earth realm. Every gift that we have, playing music, singing, it has to have the anointing to win a soul. Yeah. Where do I get the anointing from? From the things that I suffer. Mm -hmm. The valley low is where I get my anointed yeah. from. <laughs> my anointing from. The valley low. And when I pulled up to the peak to enjoy the view, then thy good and faithful servant, job well done. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Yeah, absolutely right. Am I right about absolutely it? Absolutely right about it. Winning a soul for the kingdom. That's your first business. Hey, Debbie, Margarita, Breedy Hands, I look forward to woman of God to our interview. Donata Adams, Joanne Jones, Lorenza Fat, Shrell Brooks, Natasha Woodley, Suzette Stewart, Minister Shirley. It's about winning souls. Who have you told about Jesus today? Are you caught up in your own little frenzy? Being selfish? I be selfish all the time. I ask God to create in me a clean heart. Renew the right spirit in me. Yeah. Are you winning souls for the kingdom? Are you adding to the kingdom? Or are you adding to the enemy's kingdom? Is it all about you and how you feel and what you have to deal with? His project has been created to win souls. Yep. To change mindsets. To change minds. So a man thinking in his heart, so is he. How many souls have you won? Are you winning souls? If you are not winning souls, start reading your word. God has created you to add to the kingdom. They got people dying out there. 
They got dead people walking. Yeah. Dead people walking. Yeah. Dead people wow. walking. Yeah. Spiritually dead. Who have you helped today? Are you reading your word? When God wake up in the morning, three o'clock, early, will I seek thee? Do you get up and eat a sandwich or do you pray? Do you fast? You should seek God early. And even in the late night hours, you should seek him. So he can talk to you about your vision and what you're supposed to be doing and who you're supposed to be doing it with and why you're supposed to be doing it. Because all of that leads to winning a soul for the kingdom. Everything that we do, see our spot. I tell y'all all the time. Do I want to sit on it here all the time? No. But God has called me here for a season. I never thought Selah's spot would be nominated by church stars in such a quick time. Quick. Six months. Yeah. They have people that have been on a show for a long time and was nominated for nothing. But see, God showed me my king. Miss Nicole, she turned the key. Mm -hmm. And there it was. All about souls. The message that I blessed them with last year. I wasn't even there, but I heard people trying to duplicate what I said. Because the anointing poured and it touched people's hearts and their souls. Yes. It's all about a soul. It's all about winning souls. Yes, Facebook Live is not for you to be preaching and people watching you. Are you winning souls? Jesus, I feel that in the Holy Ghost. My whole body has turned to heat. Hmm. Are you winning souls? I didn't know your project was going to bring me this way. Yeah. The valley low, pulling you, pulling people out of darkness into God's marvelous light, which is the yep. peak. <laughs> yep. So they can enjoy the view, the abundant life yep. that God has promised them. Yes, indeed. Jesus. Yes, indeed. Winning souls is what God has called us to do. God says, I'm calling you higher. I'm calling you to go deeper in me so that you can discover the mysteries of God. So that you can learn the plans of the enemy, so that you can learn how to win souls. Yeah. Everybody's not assigned to the same souls. What souls are you assigned to? Have you prepared yourself? Are you ready to be ready? God has assigned certain people to hear this project yeah. so that their souls can be won. Yeah. Jesus. The road to hell is wide, mm -hmm. but the road to eternal life, only a few find it. Oh, my God. Hmm. Only a few find it. The, word, the road to hell is wide. But the road to eternal life is a narrow road. And only a few find it. Oh. What are you doing to add to the kingdom? Yeah. He did a project. The message is going to bless people. It's going to win souls by itself because of the anointing that's on the project. Do you really love God? Then help to add to the kingdom. God has created us to serve him and only him. Yes, only you, God, I will serve. Jesus. Winning souls is the thing of the hour. Put it on a thread. Winning souls. Winning souls is the thing of the hour. Yeah. I didn't know I was coming this way. I'm telling you. <laughs> but your project, the anointing in the, the, the presence of God is on it. And it's gleaming winning souls. Because that's what it will do. People will hear your messages on in their ears and listen to your positive words. People that want to commit suicide, depression, this and that, going through family matters, whatever it may be. Yeah. It's going to help to renew their mind so that their souls can be saved. Mm -hmm. We are around people that are going to hell every day, yeah. even in our own household. What are you doing, preacher? What you doing, prophet? Are you praying divine protection over your family? Are you sending the angels to their residences to protect them from the evil one? When souls come with praying and prayer, fasting, and believing for your family. Yeah. We have to know that at the end of the day, it's not about getting up, getting an award. It's about winning the souls. Yeah. What did that person do to get that award? I prayed, I fasted, I ran toward the vision. 
so that they can duplicate what you're doing. It's about winning souls, okay? Yep. That's what it's about. Yep. Jesus, it's not about you. When you run toward the vision, soul winning should be the first thing in your radar. It's not about you making it to the top and let them watch me now. Right. No, it is about winning souls and winning souls only. Yep. You want a new building, preacher? You want to get that property? It's about winning souls to put more people on that property to win their souls. That's it. Yeah. It's nothing else to it. Yeah. God is into one thing, soul winning. Mm -hmm. That's what he's employed us to do. Yeah. Continue talking, King. Uh, so, I mean, that's that's really about all I could give you guys on the album. Uh, everything else, you have to, you know, dive into it and, and listen. And uh, hopefully you guys come on this journey with me. So once again, uh, that's October 24th. It's going to be available worldwide, uh, all your streaming services. So once again, that's iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Spotify, Tidal, Google Play, Amazon Music, whatever you use to stream music, Peaks and Valleys will be available. And I will also have physical copies if you would like to purchase one. Uh, it's going to be $10, so uh, you can meet me. Uh, I can sign it, or, and you know, uh, we can take a picture, whatever. If you want me to send it to you, if you're out of town, we can arrange that as well. So once again, y'all, I just hope that you uh, join me on this journey. Uh, Peaks and Valleys, that's October 24th. I'm telling you, my foot patting. Y'all see me staring at y'all. I love y'all. I love everybody watching tonight. But God got me staring in that screen. Because he's talking to you all. Winning souls. Yeah. When you buy his product, it's going to teach you one thing. Winning souls. Yeah. The positive messages are going to help you. I'm staring in this camera because I can feel the people watching tonight. Get rid of the selfishness. It's not about you. It's not about me. If you're going to sit on Facebook Live, have a period of holy life. Be ye holy for I am holy. If you're going to preach, don't let curse words come out of your mouth. It's what it says, bitter and sweet water, it cannot be so. Yeah. James says it well. We must represent the kingdom. We must be serious about God's business because God is serious about his business. Yeah. If God has selected you as a vessel to bless him, then you bless him real good by the way that you live. Worship leaders. Worship is not just about singing. Worship is about your life. Are you worshiping every Sunday and you're a whoremonger? Stop it. Are you a fornicator? Are you an adulterer? These people will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do your soul need to be one? Is God really your father? I keep it clean. I keep it raw. I say what he wants me to say. Jesus, I feel it in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Am I perfect? No, I'm not. But every day I say, God, rid me of his soul. Created me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. Because I know I'm nothing but a filthy rag. If it had not been for the Lord, Lord. I don't know where I would be. Hmm. You have to know your own self. So what it says, to so oneself, what? So I think it says, to so oneself be true. Hmm. Something like that. To die, oneself be true. Be true to yourself. Yeah. Clean yourself up. God has called you to bless his name. God has called you to bless his name. God is holy. We serve a holy God. Yes, we serve a righteous God. We serve a worthy God. God is calling you higher. God says, be ye holy for I am holy. The Lord wants to use you for his kingdom work, for his kingdom business. It's time to get serious. What has he called you to do? Visionary. It's not about just making money. Yeah. When God has given you a God vision, that is holy money. Make sure you pay your tithes and your offering. God is in the cleaning up business. God is getting his remnant ready because the end times are here. Look around. Look around. The disasters and the things that's happening in the world and the people thinking that right is wrong and wrong is, you know, right is, they're thinking that wrong is right mm. and right is wrong. Right. People all kinds of ways. God is looking for someone that he can use for his kingdom work Stay and to soul. win souls. Yeah. He is looking for someone that will tell him, yes, God, use me. What did Isaiah say? I seen the Lord. 
high and lifted up. And his train filled the temple. We serve a lifted up God. God says, come up hither. I'm calling you higher. God is calling you deeper. We got almost 50 people watching on tonight. It shows seven, but we got almost 50 yeah, people watching on tonight. God is talking to you. See, God, that pride that's built up in me, I don't want that. Mm -hmm. I feel some kind of way when they don't call my name. God, get rid of that. I don't want that. I want all of you, God, and none of me. I want all of you, God, and none of me. God, take this out of me. Take the lying spirit out of me. Clean me up. Yeah. Create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me for righteousness sake. Hmm. Create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me for righteousness sake. God wants to use you on tonight. God wants to use you on, yet yeah, you. God wants to use you. It doesn't matter where you've been. God knew you was going to get there before you got there. The Lord knew you was going to do it before you did it. We serve an all-knowing God. Yes, indeed. God is a forgiving God. If you ask him and you say out of your mouth the sins that you've committed before him and be truthful, he already know you've done it. He just wants you to confess to him. He is faithful to forgive you of everything that you have done wrong towards him. I've done too much, Minister Javon. No, you have not. You have not done enough. God says, I will clean you up and turn you around. God says, I will clean you up and I will turn you around. Ezekiel 16 and 8. When I pass by you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And I saw you. I cleaned you up. And you became mine. The scripture goes on to talk about the person was full of blood. But God says when I passed you, I saw you. Go read it. Ezekiel 16 and 8. He said, but when I saw you, I cleaned you up. He gave her all kind of jewelry, everything. And she became his. Wow. Why I shared that scripture tonight? Because I wasn't always Minister Javon. And when God was ready to deal with me, he gave me that scripture. Ezekiel 16 and 8. Mm -hmm. And that scripture changed my life as I now know it. When I read that scripture, I started running for the Lord. And I have never looked back. Go read it. Ezekiel 16 and 8. God will clean you up and he will call you his. Mm. I hope you all have enjoyed Selah Spot on tonight. Yes, God is a tremendous God. And he wants to give you things that you have never, ever dreamed of. The Lord loves you on tonight. I don't care what you've done. The Lord loves you. I don't care what they say. I always say, who is they? Right. I don't care what they say. God loves you and only you. God is an all-loving father. He smiles upon you when you're sleeping. Yeah. He never sleeps, nor do he slumbers. And he looks and he says, look at my child. The enemy can't touch you because the angels are protecting you. Yeah. For all of you that's having a hard time, Jesus, yes, the way. Use me, Lord. I want to be used. Tell it to the Lord. Say, God, use me for thy service. My answer is yes. I love the worship I see here on the line with Dwayne Levy Sr. God loves you on tonight. I don't care what you think you've done. The enemy wants to accuse you and say, you've done this and you've done that. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel it so heavy upon me. I bind the enemy accusing you on tonight. The devil is already a liar. You pick yourself up, up out of that valley mm -hmm. so that you can enjoy the peak. Yeah. I don't care what you've done on tonight. God is an ever forgiving God. He will forgive you right here and right now. Confess it out of your mouth. God, I'm, I forgive me for lying. 
Forgive me, Lord. I'm married and I, I think a certain way about a woman. I'm committing adultery in my mind. Oh, God, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord, for being disobedient to my parent. Forgive me, Lord, for fighting my wife. Lord, forgive me for fighting my husband. Forgive me, God. Wash me. Clean me. Creating me a clean heart. Renew the right spirit within me. The enemy don't want you to win souls. So he tries to make you feel dirty and unwanted. But God says, I want you. Ezekiel 16 and 8, because you became mine. God will wash you. He will clean you. He will turn you. He will break you. He will make you. He will bring you through that refining fire to go through to get to the vision he has called you to do. God loves us so much. He is an ever-loving father. I want you to know that tonight. Some of you, like me, may not have an earthly father living anymore. I had a wonderful father. He's been gone for 18 years, but I still feel the prayers of my father helping me as I push this vision through. God is a wonderful, wonderful father. He's a father to the fatherless. He's a mother to the motherless. Am I right about it? God is everything you need him to be. Change your life on tonight. Tell God yes. Say, God, cleanse me of everything that I've done that was displeasing in your sight. Stop that sin. I bind the addictive sin that's so deep-rooted in you. I pull it up from its root on tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I felt the power of the Holy Ghost. God is ready. For you to be ready. God loves you on tonight. God is tired of seeing you going around the mountain. Come on, Israelites. Yeah. On a seven or six day journey. Mm. God is trying to deliver you so that you may be delivered to the world. Let God deliver you. Accept what may be uncomfortable to you. Not my will, but let thy will be done. My answer is just use me, Lord. Yeah. Like Dwayne Levy said. Be available to the Lord. And I promise you, when he pass you by, he will clean you up and you will become his. Indeed. We thank you on tonight for watching. Thank you. Oh, my God. This has been a tremendous show. Awesome show. Kale, and I want you to give your information on your new project mm -hmm. for people that's just coming in. A lot of people did not hear what you said. I want you to share, share, share this c -Lot spot. Yes, indeed. Bless someone with this c -Lot spot. Share it right now. Stop what you're doing. I want to look up on the thread when, tonight when I'm looking and checking, and I want it to be over 100 shares. Share it on tonight. Yeah. Don't be selfish. I got mine. Well, come on. Let everybody get theirs. Yeah. <laughs> share it on tonight. Kevin is going to share his new project, this visionary, this man of God. Eyes have not seen, no ears have heard in his own life. He still don't know really who he really is. But the bottom line is he is running toward the vision. Yeah. Talk about your project one more time for those that came on late. So once again, y'all, I am dropping my first solo project in five years. It's called Peaks and Valleys. Peaks and Valleys. If you want to go back and listen, we talked about it a lot on tonight and how it can relate to you and your real life and your journey, uh, your constant journey to, to find and, um, your purpose. Thank you for sharing. Purpose. I see y'all sharing. Come on, keep it Absolutely. rolling. Keep it rolling. So Peaks and Valleys, my album, will be available on October 24th. That's next Wednesday. It's going to be available worldwide. All your streaming services, that's iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Google Play, Amazon Music. And I will also have physical copies. So if you would like to add me as a friend, I am tagged in this video. You can contact me if you would like to uh, order it or find out more information on how you can get it. You can also go to www.klevymusic.com. And I also want to give a shout out to the New Orleans Gospel Awards. Oh, uh, yes. Amen. Amen. Let's talk a little bit about that before real we quickly, get off. Real quickly. And uh, before you get off, Debbie Raleigh, thank you for watching. Uh, congratulations to Keandra for being a lawyer. Amen. Awesome. Eloise, thank you for watching. Keandra B. Sis, My sister, Barbara yeah. Joseph, Troy Allen, thank you for watching. Wilma, hey, classmate, thank you for watching. Giovanni, Quentin Johnson, 
Senator Regina Barrow. Awesome. I love you, woman of God. We need to get together for lunch. I know you're busy. We keep <laughs> saying it. Thank you for being a tremendous sponsor of Sea Productions. Awesome. She has best blessed us tremendously, and she still blesses. Not one Thank time you. I asked the senator for a sponsor that she never Thank sponsors. You. She will do her best, and she blesses me every time. Awesome. And she loves God. Amen. Awesome. We have a true servant of God mm -hmm. in the a government seat Political, that yeah. really loved the Lord. Yeah. And Senator Barrow, we send our love to you on tonight. I love you, woman of God. Valencia Griffin Wallace, thank you so much for watching. Uh, she came to the Butler, did it. I didn't get a chance to speak with her, mm -hmm. but I'm sure I will in the Actually, uh, uh, just spoke with her not too long ago. Okay. I'll be performing at her event okay, on awesome. November 10th. Oh, awesome. So. Yeah, she, she does have an expo that she's doing and something like yep. that. So, absolutely. Talia Francis, thank you so much for watching. Trent Bergeron, thank you for watching. And also, Dwayne Levy, you blessed me on tonight by your comments on the thread. Miss Elmira Shaw, thank you for watching. Hey, Ashley, thank you for watching. Kiara, Renee, Hans, thank you so much for watching. That's our accountant's daughter okay. that's watching. Yes, absolutely. And also, you know, you're going to perform at uh, Sea Long Soiree. Sorry. I saw your mom say they're going to hear your lyrics on 27, but they'll hear it on 28. If you want to experience Kaelin in real live life performance, Come to the soiree. Yeah. I talked to the visionaries. I've pushed you. I've told you you need to be there. You don't know if you're Pharaoh, you're Mordecai, your king will be there to turn that one key, one moment, a change your life. Yes, that indeed. one moment is called a Kairos moment. See La Soiree, October the 28th, 4 to 6. Go on my website, See La Productions in Corp. It is on the pendant item right here. Tables are $45. Yeah. You're sowing that seed. Four, the number of increase. Five, the number of grace. Increase in grace Thank is you. what you will get. Jesus, yeah. I felt that yeah. in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Register. When I run out of room, like I did last year, I'm going to have to close the door. Shut so definitely, and we all have, we got a lot of spaces that's been filled. But catch it. Go on CLI Productions and Corp. website. Go to the tab, hit see La Soiree for the, uh, hit it, click it, $45. You're in, and a representative will call you immediately after you register. Awesome. So, again, congratulations, Kay. You know I love you on your new project. Kay will be performing on the 27th where? Uh, I will be at the Sunrise Christian Music Festival uh, on October 27th. Awesome, yes. Uh, me and my band, Kay Levy and the Legends. Who are the Legends' name of them? Uh, so, Jaron Lewis, uh, Braylon Belvin. Reggie Francis and BJ Nelson. Watch out. Y'all yeah. gotta give a shout out to Absolutely. your team. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? And so also, and on the 28th, you'll be with me. See La Soiree. Absolutely. And I also will be performing at the Petey Paul Festival in New Orleans. Oh, I like so Petey Paul. Tell him I said hello. Sure I love will. him. He's, a, he's an awesome person. And then on, on November the 10th, you're going to be at Miss Wallace's event. Absolutely. And you may in see Miss Javon Wallace. there. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. We'll so see. real quickly, before we leave, guys, I want to give a shout out to all of my fans and supporters. I want to give a shout out to uh, the New Orleans Gospel Awards yes. for nominating me uh, for Single of the Year for Spread Love. I know hey, there's a lot of love that song. I love that song. Awesome. You want me to perform and spread love somewhere else, too? Yes, Coming soon. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so I just want to thank you guys. Uh, we'll be getting voting information soon. So, you know, y'all see La family, so y'all know the process of voting. Yeah. So I will be getting that information to you guys soon. But I just give all the, God all the glory for that. Uh, for single of the year. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is an awesome nomination. And you're on your way. Yes, ma'am. Because of the seed sown. Your seeds will speak for you. Yeah. Your seeds will speak for you. Now, I'm going to get off because I'll start preaching again. <laughs> but I want everybody that watched on tonight, rewind it. Yeah. Go back and watch it. I promise you it's going to bless you. God is waiting for you to be ready. He's ready for you to be ready. He sure is. So let's make him godly proud. Amen. Amen. I want to do a special prayer on tonight for everybody watching. And I want you all to receive it in the name of Jesus. I want you to clear your mind and everything that you've been thinking about. And I want you to receive this short prayer. Heavenly Divine Master God, I thank you for everybody watching Sila Spot on tonight. I clear the atmosphere, oh God, and I ask that you send a fresh wind on this set that it may reach the people out that's watching on the spot. I ask, Lord, that every mind is clear, every heart is open, every mind to receive what you have for them. Oh God, we praise you for your great works 
and your mighty acts in our lives. Undeserved, but still you bless us anyway. And for that, Lord, we say thank you. God, right now, this short prayer, I ask that you bless every visionary that's watching on tonight. Ignite the vision. Ignite the fire in every, in every individual watching on tonight. Every visionary, every dreamer, oh God. Ignite their fire. That when they run and they become tired, help them to know that you are their strength in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bless their lives like never before. Show them their new thing. Give it to them, oh, God, so they can understand that you're speaking to them. And I bind the devil right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that's stopping someone's vision on tonight, I kill it by fire. In Jesus' name. Every witch, every warlock, every wrong word, every curse, everything that's against their lives, God, I remove it and I burn it by fire right now in the name of Jesus. May the bird pad open a way for them to walk through, oh God. God, we thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Clean us up, oh God, that we may honor you. Teach us your ways, that we may honor you, Heavenly Father. God bless them on tonight. I ask God that you anoint every person that's watching on, the, on tonight. From the top of their head down to the soles of their feet. God, forgive them of the sin. And help them to do a 180. To never do the sin again. Take the nasty taste out of their mouth, oh God. To continue sinning against them, oh, their own selves, God. Cleanse them, oh God. Cleanse them right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, God, for hearing my prayer on tonight. I thank you for the angel, God, that is here. I praise you, Heavenly Father. Bless them like never before. Show them things that they have never seen. Ignite their fire, God, and increase their faith. Oh, God, I seal this prayer in the third dimension. I bless you, oh, God, for hearing me. You said to call unto you, and you will answer me. And show me great and mighty things in which I do not know. I speak blessing, favor, and increase over everyone that's watching on tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. We serve a wonderful God. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Yeah. We thank you for watching on tonight. Key, I want you to wave bye to the people. Give them a little small word of encouragement. Absolutely. I want you to get up and turn this. Camera, because we're by ourselves tonight. Amen. Uh, so I guess I, I go back to you know what I've been writing about for the last month, y'all. The the peaks and valleys in the project. I talk about how you know a lot of times we despise the valleys and we want to get to the peaks so bad, but we have to understand that everything in this life is connected. Uh, we have to connect the dots. All good things. All things are working together. For all you. means all. Yeah, the peaks we'll and the on. valleys. Yes, the right. peaks and the valleys. So uh, I'll leave you guys with that on tonight. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys at our multiple events coming up. Once yes, again. yes. Ophelia coming up. We Ophelia, still have if you want to cast for Ophelia, call 225-625-9449. It is going down with oh Ophelia. God, absolutely. Trust me. And once again, CELA Soiree, guys, October 28th. Do not miss it. Uh, stay in tune with Ms. Javon's page for everything that we have going on. Also, you can go on to www.celaproductionsincorp. Dot org and see you guys real soon. Amen. And thank you so much, Kay. Kay's gonna turn that camera I off sure in a couple will. of seconds. Thank you so much for the support of the Butler Did It. It was absolutely a phenomenal, and you will hear more about it again. I want you to go back and look at this video, and I want it to bless your life. I want you to share, share, share. A special hello to Prophet Frank Delaney. Thank you so much, man of God, for watching. I saw you earlier. I wasn't going to forget you. I just want everybody to know that God is God. And beside him, there is no other. Get yourself ready to win the souls for the kingdom. Get yourself cleaned up. 180. That's all he's asking you to do is to tell him yes. Have a blessed night. And may God bless you. May God bless you real good.